concept of data storage is behind holograms. Holographic storage is a mass storage technology that uses holo uh, 3D three-dimensional holographic images to store tons and tons of data behind these small images. Research and development is still on and the technology promises to hold thousands of movies on the size of a single disk that is terabytes of data. Unbelievable, isn't it? But this really seems to be inquisitive. This will certainly give a new dimension to data storage. So without wasting much of our time, we please call upon stage the first presentators of the evening, Mohit Raj and Swapnendu Sarkar, to present themselves to the data storage. facing beyond it, but first we need to understand how data is right now, what the present it is, what's the present scenario like. We'll be more discussed by Mohan. Thank you, Sir Mehlu. Good morning, everybody. Uh, as we all know, holographic data storage is going to be the next uh, uh, next big thing in the field of data storage capacity. Well, when we're talking about uh, data storage, we all know that our data needs is getting bigger and bigger day by day. The, get, the data is getting magnificent in size, so does we need to cope up with the infusing data with the high storage capacity devices. Well, let's get a sneak peek into the history lessons and let's check out what kinds of storage devices we have been using uh, from starting the earlier days. Well, we haven't used punch cards, but still we have read about talking about punch cards and what are punch cards. Uh, as such, uh, uh, that way in the world, having over 130 million of books can be stored in only six HBTs. That is holographic versatile disk. More, the, the best part is that the transfer rate is more than 1 GBPS. Moreover, it, it, the optical storage has reached its optical uh, is limit and is limited by diffraction rate. And the best part, the holographic versatile disk is applied that is, it uses a volumetric approach to store talking about the conventional optical disk system, the present systems. See, here actually exactly what I was telling about is this bit pattern is actually being saved directly from bit by bit the data is recorded. But here it isn't so. The entire sec sector is recorded at once. The entire page, page here is in one light wave, gets around a whatever like a small segment of data to be saved out in that volumetric part. And as well as with the same technology of the uh, fluorophoring thing, it uh, the dichloric material saves the addressing separated out. This is the conventional system as well regarding to the HVDs. Next slide, please. We're talking about the challenges over here. See, this is an immature technology, right? And it's being developed currently as even we speak. To develop this and to meet up with the challenges and to make it consumerable, make it to commercially viable to people. So these are the challenges we need to face up first. See, initial cost arrival, see, once you go into mass production, the cost will decrease. So it's not of a big issue. But the big issue lies in actually the sensitivity of the polymer being used. This sensitivity here is that since the green light is actually one part in capabilities, Right. For the conventional optical systems, it's far much less for a consumer end. And this provides a big challenge because our polymers which we use in regular day to days for like DVDs and even Blu-rays, it's not sensitive enough for this job. This material has to be sensitive enough. Like uh, this photographic memory mm -hmm. that's been known as BOM, W above RM, that slide burns read many. So what it does basically, what it ensures around. See, write words as I was talking about, right? Uh, when, whenever you write, write it again. This has to be, this can be changed and this can be developed out if the substrate thing is more sensitive enough for that one bar, one watt of green light which I was talking about. That 532 nanometer wavelength has to be there. But when we are having the polymer, actually where the substrate we have, where we are saving the data, if that is perfected out, if that is specialized out and polished, 
from very consumer level so that we can always read and write from it. Right now, if we just write it once, it represents 0.2 percent volume. And again, then to synchronize that system has to be there so that when fetching back the data, that has to be accurate also. Now, of course, Sarkar. Uh, <laughs>